everybody, this is Praxis and it's black fly season again. They're really thick today. I've got a head net on just so I can focus on what I, the work that I'm doing instead of swatting at these things. Uh, and the work that I'm doing right now is uh, putting in this uh, cinder, uh, cinder block wall for the chicken coop. I made a footing the other day which goes down several feet and uh, then what I did this morning was I uh, put down kind of a bed of concrete and now I'm sticking the uh, cinder blocks down into that. I've got the cinder blocks over here in this pool and the reason I got them in the pool is because uh, that helps to soak up water. So when I put them in they are nice and moist on the bottom and I'll get the best adhesion to the uh, concrete that I'm putting down here. So far so good. It's going pretty well. Uh, I've got uh, this corner over to here, down to here. Uh, once I finish this section uh, in, in this area I'll be able to do the rest of the footing, the, uh, the higher part of the footing up over there. I have one thing that I have to remember in this wall and that's a drain. Uh, there's going to be a water drain that's going to uh, go down here and then out this way. So this is the last full block that I'm going to put in here before I have to knock out a section of block in order to uh, uh, put the drain through. So uh, I'm going to just want to show you the procedure for putting this in. It looks like the chickens are here to, to watch as well. While I build your new home you ungrateful little... Uh, okay. All right, so uh, I've got a string here, and I'm lining this block up with the string that's uh, corresponding to the outer edge of the wall. So it looks like it's pretty straight there, just eyeballing it. I've got a short level, and I just look at the bubbles on the level as I push the brick down into the concrete. And I just try to make sure that it's going nice and flat all the way down, and that it's roughly the same elevation as the brick next to it. put an awful lot of extra concrete on here and it's a little thick. Okay, I'm pushing it down in there. Uh, as I go, I'm sure I'm accumulating errors from the other side over there because uh, I'm just measuring off the brick next to it. Uh, but the thing is, is I can put an extra thick layer of mortar uh, once I kind of get this nice straight base together. And almost there. Just kind of wedging it in there. Looks like it's pretty good. Right, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So, uh, that's looking pretty good, and I've got a little trowel here, and I take the trowel, and I use it to kind of just push the, uh, the concrete up against it, kind of go into the crack a little bit. I'll be filling the cracks in a little bit more later, but uh, this allows me to grab concrete and make an extra thick bed for the next brick that's going in, so that I can push it down into the concrete. The best way to make them nice and uh, level, I find, is to have a nice thick bed of concrete that you can kind of work your way into. 